Hi everyone. I am here to do um, a tarot review on the Mystic Fairy deck. I received this today in the mail as a belated birthday gift, so I'm very excited. Um, this deck is by Linda Ravenscroft with a text by Barbara Moore. It is printed by Llewellyn Company, and it was first available back in 2007, so I'm a little late to the game, but that's okay. I have, wasn't like other little girls. I never wanted to be a princess. I wanted to be a fairy. So I'm excited to see this. It comes in a nice sturdy box with a magnetic closure. You just get this out of here. And the cards fall into this little cubby. So I'll stick this away. Um, the book is quite large. It has uh, 284 pages. And the end of the book is actually a quick reference with one word descriptions for things, for the cards in each suit. The, there is a picture in black and white sketch of each card. And the major arcanas have quite a long description. This deck is set up as a story, so each suit tells a story as you go through the deck. And the major arcanas have quite a long, it's about two pages, so. This, I believe, is a newer version of the book or a later printing because, like I said, I'm kind of late to the game, but that's okay. This is only my second tarot deck, so I'm a little excited. I love my first one, but it's nice to have another. It's fairies, and it's outdoorsy. I spent a lot of time outdoors when I was growing up was first printed in 2007 and I have this is the eighth printing from 2018 so let's get these in like this out of the way <clears throat> and we will just do a quick look at the cards first we have the fool these are kind of cross between whimsical and Art Nouveau, touch of Victorian in there. The originals were watercolors, so the colors aren't super intense, but there's enough. Yeah, you know, they're not muted either. The Magician. The High Priestess. And we have the Empress. The Emperor. Let me get these into there. The Priest. Lady Priest. They're very earthy. The lovers. And the gorgeous, gorgeous chariot. The strength card. Look at that beautiful emerald green riding on a dragon. Definitely would take some strength. The Hermit. 
hope this is filming okay. I have my camera all blocked up ahead of me and I can't really see the whole screen. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Fae. Is hanging upside down from the vines of the morning glory. Death. Temperance. She's lovely. The devil. These are really nice. They don't have a border, so your picture goes right out to the edges. Nothing to really distract you. The tower. Ooh, the star. Lovely. The moon. I like that she's got a howling wolf with her here. The sun, she definitely looks like the sun. The world, very Gemini looking. I know someone born in May, the end of May, who's a Gemini, who loves emerald green. She'll like to see this card. Judgment. And then we take a trip into, get those out of the way, the wands, the ace, the two, the three. These cards tell a story. The Four of Wands. They've gone and met another fairy. She looks like she's given them an egg. The five. A little bit of bickering there over who gets the egg, maybe. And here it's hatched. It's a cute little dragon up here. Came out of that egg. The Seven of Wands, the Eight, the Nine, Ten, we have the Knave. The knight, we have a female knight of wands. The queen. And the king. And then we move into our cups. And the ace of cups. The Two of Cups. Ah, the Three of Cups. The Four. Oh, the Five of Cups. So much emotion in this card and sadness. Heartache. The Six of Cups. The Seven. And the Eight of Cups. She's riding away on a 
dragonfly. The Nine of Cups. The Ten. The Knave. How cute is she? The Knight of Cups. We have another Lady Knight. We're ready to defend whoever she needs to. Got her dagger here. The Queen. We're posing on a lily pad. The King. He's a very thoughtful looking guy. Oh, the swords, lavender roses, how lovely, my own lavender rose bush, beautiful blossoms, the two of swords, the three of swords, four, Five of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Eight, bound up in all those thorny branches there. The nine, the ten of swords, the thorns have turned you in, starting to stab her, and the knave of swords, oh, the knight, she is ready. The Queen, the King, and then we move on to the Pentacles, and we have the Ace, the Two, The four it's starting the harvest. Five the six. The seven, the eight, the nine, the rest with your friends, the ten. <laughs> And the knave, how cute is she? <laughs> when I was little, I loved black raspberries. I only had several bushes. Just a couple of them. Thousands, it seemed like, of red raspberries. But I would pick them as soon as they were ripe. These black raspberries and eat them up. And the knight of pentacles. The lovely queen.
and her handsome king. So those are the cards. They're quite attractive. I'm excited to get to know them. They have a, I'd say a medium card stock. Not too thick, not too thin. They are glossy on both sides. The backs are plain. They kind of remind me of the Tree Man. Or a Lion Door Knocker. They're kind of mixed. Um, not too slippery. But enough um, coating on them so that they don't but they shuffle and slide quite well. There's no sticking. They're about the width of a playing card, but a little bit longer. Don't know if it said the size on here. The book says it's 312 pages, but they must not have updated the box when they updated the book because this book says 284 right here. I don't know if you can see that. To turn it sideways, 284. And then there's an advertisement for Llewellyn. And the Llewellyn Tarot and the Gilded Tarot, and then it's done. Nope. And then how to write to the author or the artist. So the book has been is shorter now than it states on the box. Um, and the card shuffle. Let's see if we can do it this way. Yeah, they rifle shuffle very nicely too. So that is my walkthrough, my very first walkthrough. So if you've made it to the end, thank you so much for having been here. Thank you for looking, taking a first look with me at my new tarot. And I wish you all a good night.